Welcome to the 3D Classroom. My name is Maria, and today we're going to be taking a look at Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is a disease of the brain. Your brain consists of neurons that are connected and are constantly sending each other signals. So what exactly happens in the brain of a patient with Alzheimer's? Let's remove some of these layers and take a closer look. Your brain consists of neurons that are connected and constantly sending each other signals. What happens in a patient with Alzheimer's is that they have a buildup of something called plaques. And tangles. While each case of Alzheimer's is unique, there are some generalizations that we can make about Alzheimer's. Generally, these plaques and tangles will first attack your hippocampus, which is located right around here in your brain. Now, the hippocampus is what's responsible for your short-term memory. So when these plaques and tangles get into your hippocampus, they will block the signals between the neurons and eventually kill the brain cells. This is the symptom that is most associated with Alzheimer's patients. Memory loss and difficulty learning new information. The tangles and plaques will then spread to the rest of the brain, affecting language. They affect planning and your problem solving skills. They affect emotions, your senses and eventually your long-term memory. As the plaques and tangles spread, your brain will physically shrink. The gyri of your brain, the folds that we see here, will actually get narrower. So they might look a little more something like this in comparison to this healthy brain that we are using as an example. While the sulky, the gaps of your brain right here will actually get wider and this will continue until your brain can no longer function. Alzheimer's is a very serious disease, and it's all too common, but unfortunately, it cannot, as of today, be prevented, slowed, or cured. We first need to learn more about the disease and do more research. Who knows? Maybe you have the cure 